Asia CEO Riyad Asmat is a man navigating a traditional business through a digital frontier. We talk to him about Air Asia's evolving business and its impact on customers, whether he's worried about people cutting back on travel and regulatory landmines. Recently, AirAsia announced their first quarter results, which actually came in slightly lower because mm -hmm. if you compare it to last year, there were some extraordinary some gains yes. that it will not be repeated. Correct. But 90 cent dividend. So far, shareholders happy? Shareholders were very happy. Uh, to be fair, I've, I've heard nothing bad about it. Okay. Uh, that's the good thing. Uh, it was a board decision to do so. Uh, it was also part and parcel of the promises made when I think, I believe it was part and parcel of the sale of our aircraft, so on and so forth. But even excluding that gain though, mm -hmm. core earnings actually still did come in slightly lower. Mm -hmm. um, first quarter does tend to be a bit uneven mm -hmm. in terms of yep. like earnings. And a lot of them also said because costs were going up. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about how you intend to sort of manage those costs. I think day to day we, we look at costs diligently. Uh, it is part and parcel of our model. Um, but that being said, there are variables that are not within our control to a certain degree. Uh, fuel being example, um, you know, one day someone says something, you know, it will be bullish. One day it becomes bearish. Yeah. Uh, but what we've done uh, for this next few years is to start hedging. Uh, percentage varies, obviously. You do not want to over hedge as well. Correct. Uh, but I think we're doing a good job. Uh, so I believe that you know, with that in place, uh, we should be looking at a, a very, very strong position also this year uh, with regards to cost, uh, especially contributed by fuel. Um, other than that, again, on a day-to-day, -day, obviously, we look at how efficient we work, mm. uh, you know, part and parcel of you know, putting digital into perspective. We utilise technology as much as we can, uh, even to the point that uh, I'm looking at fuel saving for the aircraft uh, utilisation as well. That mid plus the fuel hedging, will that at least ensure a firmer hand on the fuel costs, you think? I think it would. Uh, I mean, again, I, I cannot give a 100% guarantee of anything, uh, but from the perspective of these actions we take as an organisation, and we, if we continue to enhance it, utilise it in the right areas, I see no reason why we cannot manage costs. So, but on the plus side though, for the quarter, the good thing was that passengers actually went up 18%. Mm -hmm. Load factor also uh, saw some slight improvement. The first and second quarters do tend to be slightly better. Mm -hmm. Usually for airlines, you slow down a little bit for yep. the summer, for domestic in Correct. particular. Yep. Will you be able to see these kinds of passenger growths, you think, now especially when people are more cost, cost conscious? To be fair, we've seen uh, people movement being, being on the increase still. Uh, you know, to the level that I think it's comfortable for us to, to predict certain, certain expectations. Um, domestic itself has grown and continues to grow. Um, Malaysia itself is an interesting point. You know, we offer many, many tourism opportunities and whatnot. And it also means that even locals like to travel internally rather than driving also nowadays. Uh, so we, we will continue to push that effort uh, in terms of network, scheduling, uh, expenses, uh, expansions and whatnot. Uh, but what I'm seeing from the numbers is encouraging. Uh, we have grown. Um, as of now, I think domestically year on, from last year, um, we are now at 61% in terms of market share. Uh, we are introducing new routes. Uh, we are about to fly Penang to Malacca, for example. Uh, I'm very, very surprised and encouraged by the numbers of the take-up. There was a recent ruling about how now fares cannot have hidden charges, mm -hmm. everything needds mm -hmm. to be upfront. How does that impact something like AirAsia? From, from my perspective, I think we, we've adhered to all the rulings and whatnot. So, you know, I'm always encouraged by the, the fact that everyone needs to be transparent and we are being so. Um, we are encouraged by the fact that if it's, it is gazetted, uh, we just follow the rules. We, it's part and parcel of the business at the end of the day. For you at your level, mm -hmm. how does all the, we talked a little bit about the fuel, yeah, right? Yeah. But digitization, all this move into big data, I mean, how right. has it affected you running an airline, which right. is traditionally a very traditional business? You have leases to pay, yes. you have to deal with fuel and people. So how right. does that, how has that sort of bled down so far? Uh, the traditional bit of our business will never go away. Uh, you know, we still need to carry passengers you know, from one point to another. When you talk about digital world, uh, one of the things that we are embracing as an operator as well 
is the a are the areas that will create my area to be more efficient. Okay. You know, my guys on the ground, they need to know information. They need to get data quicker than it would have been maybe 10 years ago. And that would also translate immediately into them being efficient in terms of their operations. What do customers feel though? I want you to be able to buy a ticket as seamless as possible. Within a click or two, you're done. What we want to do even more now is also the fact that we're trying and working on the face recognition where you know we recognize you through your biometrics. That means all I need to do now is to implement certain certain gateways at the airport yeah. where you are recognized immediately without having to struggle to pull out your boarding pass or even your IC or your passport and get through and get into the plane. So all this level of technology is being invested in right now. It's been over a year, a year and a half since yeah. you've taken over <laughs> as CEO. Yeah. You've gone through the gamut of all other sort of businesses Correct. as well. Yeah. Is the job everything you expected? Well, first thing, I never expected to run an airline in my whole life. Uh, so I'm very much grateful for this opportunity. Um, in terms of industries, you know, being honest, uh, I think not much of a difference because you still deal with infrastructures, you still deal with uh, resources, uh, and more, impo and more importantly, people. Yeah. And I've had that wonderful experience and opportunity in my previous jobs. Uh, what I am obviously blown out of my mind right now is the level of transparency and the camaraderie that you have in this organization. Uh, we call ourselves All Stars. It is a very complex industry, very regulated, uh, which I appreciate very much at the end of the day. Uh, so for me, having the right, right support and uh, me getting guidance and I guide them at the same time, I think we're, we're in the right path at the moment.